Hello and welcome to another episode of the Reading Uni News Show. I'm Emma and I'm here with all the latest news from around campus and an interview with an extremely important message. It's been announced that the University and College Union, known as the UCU, will be encouraging members to participate in industrial action over disputes with the university relating to the National Pay Bargaining Scheme and the USS Pension Scheme. We've been notified that the strike action will occur between the 25th of November and the 4th of December. However, not all staff members will choose to strike. Vice-Chancellor Professor Robert van der Noort said that he was deeply disappointed about the industrial action at Reading University for the second time in recent years and said that it is particularly frustrating to find ourselves facing industrial action at a time when the university has been engaged in productive discussions with Reading. He said that his priority now is to ensure minimal disruption for students and hope that students shared his commitment to ensure that the quality and value of learning experiences is not undermined by the disputes. Rusu were unable to provide a statement. However, last Thursday evening, a referendum was held to determine whether the Students' Union should support strike action by university staff and the UCU. We did not have the results of this when filming this episode, so check the Rusu website for more details about this. From February 2020, the University of Reading will no longer allow its land to be used to raise game birds for shooting. This follows the decision to end organised game shooting, which came from the conclusion of an internal review, which involved both internal and external students and expert panel members from the University School of Agriculture, Policy and Development and School of Biological Sciences. A University of Reading spokesperson said, the University of Reading is known in the region and around the world as a leading centre for the study of agriculture, food and the environment. While there are many arguments for and against game shooting, this decision was taken based on what is the most appropriate use of university land, based on values and plans for the future. Next, it's been a recent topic of conversation in the news, but just how ready are you? A general election will be taking place on the 12th of December, so this is Roo TV's reminder to register to vote if you haven't done so already. To register, just visit www.gov.uk forward slash register to vote. It only takes a few minutes and is essential if you want to have your say in the next general election. There are many polling stations in Reading which will be open from 7am to 10pm on the 12th of December. However, if you're unable to make it to the polling station, you can apply for a postal vote instead. So get registering and happy voting. Now, last week was Alcohol Awareness Week. Everyone, especially me, loves a party, but it's also important to recognise how alcohol can affect your health and well-being. We spoke to the Rusu Welfare Officer, Gemma King, to discuss Alcohol Awareness Week, both in general and at the University of Reading. Hi Gemma, thank you so much for joining us today. So we're talking about Alcohol Awareness Week. How important is it that we discuss Alcohol Awareness Week? I think it's really important because I think it's something that students don't really talk about that much. Um, And... As a student, I definitely like to ignore the kind of possible side effects that alcohol might have on me because you do have a fun time on nights out and things. Um, But I think we forget that alcohol does have some really negative side effects on your mental and physical health. So it's really important to have that conversation and kind of think about if you do have a problem with it, if you are drinking for the right reasons um, and yeah, just support each other. Okay, and... Have Rusu, did they do anything in particular to raise awareness about Alcohol Awareness Week? Mm -hmm. So this week, um, in collaboration with the university, we've been running a campaign called Be A Mate, um, which is kind of to encourage students to think about their drinking and take a more kind of informed and responsible approach. Not saying don't drink anymore because we know that's not going to happen, but just to kind of make students aware of like the alcohol guidelines kind of the side effects of drinking so we've been giving out these I don't know if you've seen today but we've been giving out these cups called um which say be a mate on it and it has um the units um and we actually did a test and got students to pour what they thought was like two two shots um and it would normally be at least a quadruple shot so like just to kind of show students measure your drink 
um like you can still go out and have fun but just be a bit more informed and like sort of know your limits um the uni also ran a um think about your drink session yesterday and in union last night there was a mocktail um bar upstairs um so that kind of students that don't drink that much can still enjoy a night out okay fantastic and I suppose sometimes there's an almost a bit of a stereotype. People might think that university is all about the partying, all about the drinking. Are there places that people can go to if they don't want to drink in the university? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's so many sports clubs and societies that people can get involved in that don't have to involve drinking. Um, So I play corfball and they make sure they do um, three socials that don't involve drinking every term and three that do. So it's kind of open to everyone. Um, And that made me feel really included um, because although I drink sometimes like for my anxiety I don't want to drink so much so I really enjoyed that part of it and there's also a society called are you not drinking much and so they have um, every week they do a session and it might be like board games going to watch a film doing something off campus but that can be a really great thing to do if you're not that into drinking okay fantastic and for people who might be struggling with issues with alcohol where can they find support so there is a there's actually a new um, essentials page online and so you can find out where to get support there um, you can also go to Carrington they have a drop-in every day um, in welfare support from 10 till 4 um, and they can go, um, like direct you to the right support um, there's also like external support so CGL which is Change Grow Live um, which help with drug and alcohol support in the community um, I've also recently started a podcast as part of my mental health campaign and the recent episode is on alcohol awareness and we discuss there how people can get support. So yeah, have a listen. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you so, so much for joining us in the studio today and hopefully we'll be seeing more of you very soon. Thank you. That was Gemma, our Rusu Welfare Officer, talking about Alcohol Awareness Week. That's everything for this episode of the Reading Uni News Show. For more videos from Rue TV, visit our YouTube page or follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more information. And if you're already part of our society, be sure to look out for our members meeting and Christmas social coming up very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>